So I'd like to I'd like to welcome everybody um, to our our regular Friday introduction to uh, Vidya Novo PC and tablet application, uh, which we launched uh, very successfully a few weeks ago at IMTF. My name is Chris, Chris Merlin, and I'm a marketing leader uh, at Vidya, and I'm going to walk through today um, just some basic, a uh, little bit background on on what Novo is uh, for for the Vidya company. Uh, why why now is the time is right for Novo? It's going to be just a couple minutes. Give you a little background, a little flavor on on what 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 our vision is here, and go into um, a demonstration of the basic functionality. I think that's what you guys have all dialed into of our new free download for PC and tablet application. So just sit back. Uh, I hope it's enjoyable. Hopefully we learn something and um, and you you find out about the power of Novo. And when I get to the end here after about 20 minutes, I'll open her up for, for questions. So, so again, thanks for joining me. And um, let's talk a little bit about uh, what, what we see on the market. I think you guys hear this all the time, industry magazines, industry, uh, you know, at the trade show, it's certainly a topic. But there are some mega trends on the market um, that are combining to create some those in the machining space. You have you have this sort of this shortage of technical talent gap, and this is not just in North America, but all over the all over the world. And you have this massive investment in, in automation, which are coming together um, to really make uh, business a bit more complicated for for all of us. So our vision with Novo was really to leverage these new digital channels, the Internet of Things you might hear, and to change the way work gets done to uh, enhance productivity in the machining uh, operations. So what, what this really means is over the last 10, uh, over the last 30 years, if you've been around as long as I have, you might remember um, going from a manual lathe to a tape machine. Uh, we have really seen things become more digital, more automated, but growing up like trees in the forest very separately. What we see in the next 10 or 15 years is the guys, the people are going to do really well in our space is how is the people that bring all this stuff together very connected and very smartly and uh, we we, th we believe Novo can be a driver uh, of this for sure in fact it's it's an enabler and, and really a necessity so if you think about if you think about where we are today um, you have a lot of complicated cam programs tool management systems verification software up on the on the left coming together to talk to um, very expensive um, digital machine tools, which are also being enabled by a movement called MT Connect, which will allow these machines to talk together. On the bottom left, you have a bunch of digital data and um, around all the products and consumables we use. It's coming in through the web, coming in through the cloud. And finally, on the bottom right, a bunch of other related equipment. So we have a very, very digital environment that we operate per in our personal lives and in our shops, but it's not quite linked uh, so our vision with Novo was the digitizing our knowledge and data around our, our products to enable productivity in what we call the other 97%. You guys might have heard the, the study, normal studies will say that around 3% of the standard cost of goods sold for a machining, machine component is tooling. All of the other costs are in other areas, labor, machinery, overhead. And the opportunity by digitally connecting all this stuff is to – um, cut down on non-value added work. So what we're talking about is instead of optimizing a machining process at the spindle by spindle, feature by feature, and then going back and, and, and trying to get it back through the system, what if we brought that knowledge and data up front in a way that it could flow through the art to part process? Wouldn't this be much more uh, smart? Um, wouldn't this eliminate a lot of non-value added work, looking through catalogs, typing data, and manipulating models? Uh, this is all uh, really a necessary evil, and uh, we think we we think we're on on a very positive path towards doing this. Uh, we we have um, really been able to solve a lot of problems for people in the process planning area. They're at the CAD CAM. They need access to our data and models, but they also need it to work very easy and very simply with the systems that they use. And and all of the people around um, the machining operations, our distributors, our application engineers. They also are doing a lot of this process planning and, and collaborating. Um, you know, the process planning is a very collaborative uh, process in the machine uh, shop. You know, purchasing, um, production planning, uh, CAD CAM. So, so this, um, 
by bringing the data together in a way that can that can really be manipulated and and brought in the right way to the right place at the right time to speed this process up, I can show you um, just one case example of what we we have accomplished. You know, the traditional way of selecting tools. Um, our team, in fact, this is a, this is a team of process planners with NVIDIA who, you know, we're basically a tooling company. They told us this is a day in our life. Someone puts this process plan in and says, hey, pick me all the tools and machining strategies to do this process. They told me that on average, this would typically take a four-man team about uh, about uh, two days to do in, in the past. You know, you got these 5,000-page catalogs. You got to look for everything that fits together. You basically got to reverse engineer uh, the component. And in the end, you still wouldn't have all of what you need to program the part, and you'd probably use a lot of old knowledge because when you have all this data to go through, you tend to revert to what we call tribal knowledge. With the new PC and tablet application, a four-man team did this in an afternoon. It was 103 tooling assemblies on this particular component. They had all the optimal feed and speed information, the, most, the latest technology because Novo is coming live from um, Vidya's PLM system, so if we put a new product in today, um, it, it's in there today. And they have, most importantly, they had all the assemblies, all the models, and all the data ready to program their part. So it was, this is a, just one example of a 75% time saving just in the area of selecting, getting the models and data, and, and getting prepared to program your part. So this is, the, this is the, what the future of, of digital manufacturing holds. Um, now I'm going to go into... So, so our vision really is to connect with all of these areas within the shop, which required tooling data and knowledge. And as you can see, we've, got, we've, we've launched a free tablet and PC application, but our real vision is to get this data and knowledge into um, shop systems. And if you were at IMTS, you saw we had already integrated systems with Vericut, um, Esprit Cam, um, tooling, uh, Zoller tool management. So really delivering the knowledge and data in the way um, that people want to use it in a very easy uh, way to, to format. And our vision really is to drive all the way to Industry 4.0 for the machining processes. So I hope um, you enjoyed a little back on the program itself. Um, sorry, it took, took, took just about seven or eight minutes there. What I would like to do now is I'm going to go into a, to a 10 to 15 minute demonstration uh, of the tablet and uh, PC and tablet application. So, um, as you can see, when you log into the PC and tablet application, it knows who I am. It knows that this is Chris Merlin, and this is because one of the unique things about about this solution is it allows you to use a, a, a free uh, cloud account. So it's just a name and an email address, and so not not too intrusive. And what this really does is it gives me access to what we call job management. So people in process planning, you know, they're basically programming jobs and organizing packages of data around jobs. And if you look here, this has got all of the jobs that I've done in the past stored in a nice, easy way. Um, no matter what, so if I create a job at home and I log in on my PC at work, um, I've got my data there. So it's very portable, very good for collaboration. Process, process planning areas are working on on the same job, so they can they can copy a job as a template. Um, they can share a job um, with their with their counterpart. It'll show up in their job list. So this is a really nice feature um, of this of this um, particular um, tool. So I'm going to go into uh, this particular job that I was working on, and as you can see, I've identified I've identified that I'm working with P2 Steel. Now, when when you lock when you look into the to the standards here under AISI, one of the biggest challenges of picking cutting tools and and, and feed and speeds information is finding um, li literally going through two or three thousand uh, materials and trying to match them up with which of the forty thousand cutting tools you have that that are are good for the job. So if I go into AISI, I start to type in ten forty, it's going to tell you that. Um, that this is this is under um, Vidya's P2 machinability group. So already it's saving me time because as I set this at the job level, now I can now it's going to work only within the tools which are optimal um, for this particular material. 
So now I, I have the material set. I put in a little picture of my of my um, component here of what what I want to machine, and what the machine is outside housing here. And I'm going to work on this. I'm going to work on these um, work on these holes here on on the outside of the housing. So if I go into what we call a tool advisor, it's starting to look a lot like a like a CAD CAM software. So I'm I'm going to pick a hole making operation. It's got lots of nice easy to use templates. This happens to be a simple through hole. And you see it's got the option here for a machine. Uh, I'm going to go into that a little bit later, but you can define machine so, so that it would restrict um, maybe some of your selections uh, based, you know, for milling, for example, based on the capability of your machine. In this case, I'm going to go into to, um, to a hole that I have that's a, that's a 10 millimeter hole. Uh, I'm sorry. Going to, so I can work an intrametric. I'm going to do a 10, 10 millimeter hole. Um, about 50 millimeters deep, and I'm going to tell it that there, when I go into there, there's about a 60 degree angle on the face of the tool. So it's got three required pieces of information, one of which is already filled out at the job level, and then a lot of other optional information that I can add to refine its searching or its output. So I could ask it for intrametric tools, I can ask it for solid or indexable tools. In this case, I'm going to run it wide open and find what the best solution is. So when I hit continue here, um, it's it's cranking through. What we've done is we've matched all of Vidya's tools to machining strategies. This is very critical because if you work in a process planning area, you go from component to feature to strategy. And your strategy is often dictated by what you're comfortable with or what works best on your machine. So we've connected all of the Vidya tools to, to machining strategies. So that's, that's pretty cool. And actually, most people will drill this hole. But it did tell me that if I didn't have a drill in stock, it is possible to helical mill this hole. Um, so it allows me to pick the strategy I'm comfortable with, and it may teach me about a, a strategy I haven't even thought about. I'm going to pick the traditional hole drilling strategy. And now it's cranking through 40,000 standard video tools based on the parameters I've given it to not only pick, not only pick a tool, but actually a tooling, a tooling sequence. So as, as you can see here, I'm not sure what happened to my tab there. As you can see here, it's 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 found a it's found a a tool, um, which which is which is great for for a 10 millimeter hole. And because it's five times C, so it, it's picked the top drill S plus S uh, for for this particular application, which is our most productive solution for um, for steel. Now, it also allows me to view alternate choices. If I'm not comfortable with that particular tool, I can also look for other tools that I might have in my stock. Or we've also got a connection to our Toolboss unit, which would also mm -hmm. show tools that, that, that are in this, um, in this particular, uh, that are in my Toolboss unit. So in this case, I've, I've, I've found the, the tool that's best, best for me. It's this TDS-202. And now I'm going to add it to my job. Once I've added it to my job, um, it's, it's saved in there. And now I can do a couple things. I can do a couple things with it. The first thing is I probably want to adapt it um, to, my, to my machine because I want to use this tool tomorrow. So as you can see, here's some, so here's some other tools that I had in my job. You'll notice this was a milling cutter I did in the past. It also has all the, all the spare part information. I'm going to go into the last, whole, last application I did here. Uh, and and I'm going to open this tool up in what we call our configurator. So so in this in this particular this particular tool here, I'm going to open it up, and now you're going to see our configurator. So we've got our catalog, our 40,000 items, our catalog on steroids. So it's all mapped with fits with and works with convention. So if you guys have ever gone through the process of finding, a, for example, a um, a shell mill, a shell mill adapter, and and some an insert and, and another um, extension. You know this can be a rather um, uh, time-consuming task, and you might have to go through three or four catalogs. With with Novo, um, we've mapped all the tools it fits with and works with. So it's not only is it speedy. When I click on that particular item, it gives me only items which which will fit my tool. Uh, but it gives me only items which will work with my tool. So it won't match a hydraulic. Ch um, it won't match a hydraulic chuck up with a um, with, with a weld and shank, for example. So I'm going to pick a, pick a KM adapter here, 
um, I'm going to I'm going to add it to my tool assembly. And now you're going to notice one of the most important things with Novo. So if you're in process planning or you're working with CAD CAM, all of this is basically a necessary evil. What you really want is the models and data to program this part. So as you can see, it's building live the 3D assembly. I can download this into common common file formats. Um, basically, STEP usually works with Vericots or most CAM systems. I can also do the light simulation model. And I can go in and check the feeds and speeds very dynamically. So if I if I click on here, um, I can I can change the material. I'm, I'm going to stay with P2. I can change the start, starting speed, the starting feed, and it's going to adjust dynamically my my torque my my torque and power requirements. So um, it'll also give me a warning if I've selected a machine, and I can go I can go back through there. If I've selected a machine in here, and it happens to be a um, happens to be a milling cutter, it'll tell me if I've exceeded if if I've exceeded the capability of that particular machine. Um, so uh, it also has a default button. So if you get in here and play with it, you can you can go back. So now you can see I have my model, um, I have my, my feed and speeds, I can download this, I'm ready to program my part. Um, the other thing that, that Novo's done by by organizing this all in in a job, I don't have to download just one model at a time, which is is very time consuming, or put them together. It's assembled all my models, and I can ex export this whole model in in a format um, for import into these systems. So if you've ever set a tool up in Vericut or 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 Esprit or or tool management, you know this could take up to two or three hours um, to to set these tool assemblies up with Novo. I can actually, with a click of a button, send four or five tools into into the to thing into into my system, and and I'm ready to go. So that's that's all about how the advisor and the tools and the models work. I'm also going to show you our search by product family. Um, so this this particular um, solution is like our catalog on steroids. Um, it's electronic. Uh, again, I'll go into um, uh, a milling, for example, but what's really great about this particular solution? I'm not a I'm not a milling guy. I'm an old hole making guy. Um, I might be I, I might want to search for a, um, a mill that can do face milling, pocket milling, and um, and helical milling. Okay, so so I've done the face milling, pocket milling, and helical milling, and now I'm going to go into a diameter of Oh, let's say uh, one inch, one inch cutter here. So now with just three clicks, I've basically found all of the milling cutters within the video portfolio, which will um, which will work for this application in in P2. I can also say, you know what? I know I want it to work in steel, but I want to make sure it works in stainless steel as well. So now I've clicked in there. I can go in and I can check actually availability. Maybe I need this job. Maybe I need this tool tomorrow. So I can click um, I can click on availability here and see if it's in stock in, in Cleveland perhaps. So this one's available. Great. I'm gonna I'm gonna order this one here through my local distributor and I'm gonna add it to my job. So once I've added it to my job, again I can now that I've I've checked that that's available, it's very easy for me to to find the inserts and uh and match the inserts to this particular um to this particular uh milling cutter. So as you know, we have a we have a 4,000, you know, 2,000 page catalog, but I basically got um, 20, 25 uh, inserts that'll work for me. And uh, once I basically get into um, maybe uh, maybe a corner radius here, I'm, I'm basically down to four. I'm basically down to four inserts. So it's very easy for me to check um, which which insert might be in stock. I can also go in and it shows for the inserts. It shows that if it's it shows if the particular insert is a first choice or an alternate choice for a particular material. So I like this insert here. It's a first choice for steel. It's an alternate choice for stainless. So I, I'm going to pick that one. I do. I, I know I have a steel job. But I just want to make sure it works in stainless. I'm going to pick it, add it to my assembly, add it to my job, and uh, now I'm ready to go. Um, the other things that you can do in here. As, as an end customer, which are which are very convenient, um, uh, is you can add these tools to your shopping cart, 
And once I've got my shopping cart built, I can share it with my local. I can I can request a quote from my local distributor, enter enter his email in here, and my local distributor rep is going to get a list of my tools. Um, if I'm a video distributor, once I've got this job, I can actually enter my my video sender account and check my pricing order. I can even request a um, a SAP quote uh, from from video directly. Uh, the last thing I want to show you guys, two of the last things I want to show you guys is, is the machines concept. So again, um, I've set up this Haas machine here. It's it's very simple to set up. You you have a name, um, a cost, and a machine efficiency. And then the important thing is to set up the spindle. So this particular spindle, I've got 25 horsepower, maximum torque of of, of 600. And when I go into the um, when I go into the advisor for milling, for example. And I pick the, I pr I pick this particular um, machine, and spindle. Now, when I go into selecting something for P2 with a uh, uh, just 25 millimeter depth shoulder, 15 millimeter width, and hit continue, it's going to give me um, milling solutions which are best suited for that particular spindle. Um, application, it's going to restrict. Um, it's going to restrict you from from solutions that probably don't work. Um, the last thing I, I wanted to to share with you is uh, share with you today is is just the quick search method. So it does have a very nice Boolean search where I can where I can search for get back in here. I can search for by product family or material master number, and this is a very nice way. To very, very nice way to check um, inventory availability, feeds and speeds. If you have a particular material master, it's 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 pretty easy to um, to to check check here as well. So I'm going to um, I'm going to um, open it up for questions. Um, and I would encourage you to I would encourage you to 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 ask away. So. Uh, the first question that comes to my mind is, uh, if you look at the tool advisor and uh, come over to uh, turning. Yes. Uh, now I see that uh, quite a few of the operations are not even uh, kind of active. Yeah, so those, those are in development and will come in uh, later releases. Okay. So we we you know we have a pretty robust solution systems on the market. We have about 30 standard applications, 40,000 um, standard items, um, so and and 3,000 materials. But we've we're we're working on the threading, uh, grooving, and cutoff as we speak. Well, okay. there's, actually, there's actually there's actually cutoff in here. I guess it's just threading and face grooving, huh? Mm -hmm. So good question. And, uh, okay. Uh, can you also tell me once again where, where are the catalogs? Yeah. So if you go to search by product family, you basically have the catalog here. You can see the major sections. Okay. So does it have all the catalogs uh, for sure? For sure. Yeah. Forty thousand items. Okay, and uh, does it also have all the products in the Novo already built in? Uh, I mean, except except those uh, threadings and cutoffs. Everything well, actually, is actually, the products are in there. So if I would go into threading, for example, and I and I would pick, it's just not the advisor. So if if you go into uh, turning and you wanted to do a a, a, a face face grooving example or threading, I guess something here. You you actually have you actually have a threading section in the filters. It's just not the advisor. So you can use this as 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 a um, for for solutions for that. Okay, great. So do we conclude that if something is not uh, popping up on Novo, it does not exist in the product range of media. It, yes. So, so what's so what's great is because it comes live from Ken the Metal's SAP system or from Video's SAP system via the cloud. If we obsolete something, it will disappear out of here. Um, if you 
if you also save a job and it, an item goes obsolete, it'll give you a warning like your Apple Apple phone. Okay. So so okay. yeah, so you can you can conclude if it's not in here, it's not a, not an active item. And and the same is true for new items. We have the VSM 11 in here, which won't won't be in a catalog for four or five months, but it's in here. Okay. Okay. Yeah, sounds good. Pretty clear. Yeah, you're welcome. The good question. We have the latest view of the portfolio here. Okay. I've got a question. Yeah. If Veracut is a standalone system, uh, can I export this stuff out of your system so that I can uh, upload it into a, a standalone computer system? I'm not sure if I understand your question. You, do you want to export the data or do you want to run it offline? I want to export the data so that I can import it into Veracut which is on a yep. standalone computer system. Yeah, a absolutely. So, so to so for Veric, at the job, you might have might have missed it, but I, at the job level, I can export I can export the whole job of tools I've created to the to format which Veric likes. So you'll get all these tools, all these models, and it'll just download to your desktop, and then you just upload that to Veric. Veracut has developed a, a an easy button inside their app as well. I'm not sure what stage is that, but they're going to have a button that you can just share a job. So I could share a job with with um, Veracut, and you can suck it in as well. Did that did that Thank answer you. your question? You can also yes, by the way, yeah, you can also download the um, the uh, addition, the individual items as well. So when I was in when I was in this this item here. For example, it, there's a there's a download model button. I'm like jammed up here. So there's a download model button which will also allow you to download um, this particular item into a into a file format as well. So you can download an individual tool, an individual assembly, or a job full of assemblies um, with an automatic export to Veracut. All right, thank you. You're welcome. I hope that I hope that saves you some time, huh? That's always a always an issue getting models into Verica, isn't it? Yes. Good questions. Any other questions out there today? Was it does it look hey, simple? Chris. Yeah, yeah, Tom. Chris, when you when you're yeah. when you're loading this machine data in, yeah. into uh Novo is there any way that this thing can identify between a turning center and a, and a machining center? In in what in what way, Tom? So I've got the so. Well, I, I played with it. I played with it a little bit to try to get used to it, and I went through and, and tried to pick a machining strategy for a, for a one inch uh, seven fifty hole. And yeah. what it did uh, is it pulled up uh, a helical tool pattern with a with an end mill. Okay, now yeah. if I was on a turning center, like a Haas turning center, of course I couldn't do that. What I'd want to do is I'd want to inch seven fifty drill or I'd want to drill and boring bar to bring it to finished size. So is there yeah. any so, way when you load these machines you can designate between the two type spindles? Not not at the moment, Tom. So that's why remember okay. when I was going when I was going through the advisor, that's why it comes to the strategy first. Because at the moment you have to know which strategy is going to fit your machine, and that's why that step is so critical. In in the future, okay. because I, I should mention in the future, you know, we've partnered with the Machining Cloud, so they they have a lot of people you can see who are working with them. Their vision is to have machine tools publish their machines to this application. You can just you can just download it, and then then at that point it would know what kind of machine it was. I'm not okay. sure that that's okay. com coming. That, 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 not, not, I'm not sure it's coming tomorrow, but but you know the, we recognize the need. Right, but that that's that's in the plans later on down the road. But, okay. Yeah. Well, I'd say that's their vision. I don't know if they have a plan. Yeah, that's that's their vision. Okay. Good question, Tom. Anything else? Anybody else? Um, it seems simple enough to get started with. Is it? Um, you know, the other, the other thing I probably didn't show you guys out there was 
you know, eventually we you can hook this into under the user profile. You can hook this into a um, into a into a toolbox system, and um, it would also show in in your tab not only availability at, at the at the video warehouses, but in toolbox. All right. Well, any any other any other questions out there? Thank you. Thank, thank you so much. All right. Well, have a fantastic um, have a fantastic weekend, everybody. Uh, appreciate you joining today, and uh, I hope Novo um, will uh, stay more productive. Thank you.